Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the week of January 18th through the 24th. We're just going to see what comes up for Scorpio. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you. And the timing is still fluid. What do we have for Scorpio for the week ahead? Overall energy, please. Ooh, the star cards. The car star card is a card of wish fulfillment. It's prayers being heard, prayers being answered. It's help arriving after the tower has fallen. So this is a dream come true. It's protection. So there's some sort of protection here. Okay, you are protected. You, there's some sort of uh, guidance by the looks of things. This is a card of hope, inspiration, healing, renewal. Prayers being answered. It's like a, it's like that falling star, right? It's like the uh, when you see a falling star, you make a wish, and your wish is granted. So something, something like that, you know. It's like when you wish upon a star, wishes really do come true. <laughs> I don't know the saying, but I'm trying to think of it. But anyway, this is a wish being granted of some sort. Help is arriving after a tower moment. So I don't know if you ex are experiencing a tower moment and help arrives. Okay. The star card is a card of a new purpose. Okay. It's renewal. It's hope. It's healing. It's unexpected help. So you're going to be receiving some unexpected help this week. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, but there is success here. There is success. And this is a blessing in disguise after a tower falls. So if a tower has fallen, considering consider it a blessing. It may be a blessing in disguise, but you know, you're gonna be picked up out of the rubble, put it that way. Target. So we may have something to do with a target here. Somebody may be a target. Let's get that. A goal-oriented person hitting a target. So a target is going to be hit. Shark. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. You do need to take care this week. I do feel like there is some sort of protection here because this star card is a card of protection. It is. There is some sort of protection. You do have a shark around you, so you do need to be aware. Um, and there is a goal-oriented person in your reading, if it's not you, that is going to be hitting a target. You may be hitting a target. They may be hitting a target. Something is going on here. All right? This is a bullseye. So... What do we have for Scorpio? If you have been, you know, trying to reach a goal, the goal is probably going to be reached. Put it that way. But you do have, but you got a shark. Sharks are dangerous. So you be, you could be dealing with somebody that is very, very dangerous. High Priestess. Now, the High Priestess is very intuitive, very receptive, keeping a secret. There's something that is hidden. Somebody is hiding something. They are watching. They are observing. They are not saying anything. They're keeping something to themselves. You could be dealing with somebody that is very spiritual. This is an empath. This could be you. Okay, this could be your energy. You may you may have a secret. Okay, you may have a secret that has been kept. Um... It's de there's definitely a, an, a feeling of mystery here. You know, I feel like uh, there's some sort of secret. Somebody is keeping some secrets. Interesting. What is this high priestess? Strength. Strength reversed is a coward. It's it's a coward. It's cowardly energy. It's lack of determination, lack of confidence, weak. Um, could be even be some illness. Somebody may be, somebody's obviously hiding something. There, it, there's, um, I 
I don't know if somebody is sick. I mean, I'm just being honest with the strength card reversed. I feel like there's vulnerability or there's weakness or there's um, inadequacy. You know, there's depression or despair or lack of respect for others. Somebody may be lacking respect for others and they're, they, have, they, they lack confidence. They lack strength. We have weakness here. We also have cowardly behavior, fear. Somebody may be hiding their fear, but they're actually very fearful. What is this strength card reversed? Eight of Swords. Now, Eight of Swords is prison. It's a mental prison. It's trapped in fear. It is trapped in fear. So we definitely have some fear here. But it's in the past. This is the past position, which has caused somebody to reflect. Because the High Priestess reflects on happenings. Now, the Eight of Swords is a time of reevaluation. Somebody is reevaluating their current situation. Okay, and they're not in a good place. They're not in a good place. Somebody is in letting themselves be controlled by, you know, their fears or by another person. So there is control issues here. Somebody is allowing themselves, or they have been, because like I said, that's in the past. They've been allowing themselves to be controlled by fear. But the high priestess is an inner knowing, somebody that is very intuitive, that is keeping something a secret. They've been, there's obviously a divine connection here. They've been, you know, praying and hoping for the best and, you know, sending their thoughts out to the universe and their thoughts and their prayers have definitely been heard because there's a deep connection here. Strength card reverse. You could be dealing with a Leo. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Leo. It could be a Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever. You could be dealing with somebody that has been keeping you held back. They have been causing you problems, maybe. They, um, maybe this person has a victim mentality and they, they want to keep control over you. It feels like you're dealing with somebody who wants to control you. You know, somebody has been wanting to control you. And I feel like you know that you have to leave this person behind. But it almost feels like they want to keep you confined. They want to keep you restricted. You're dealing with somebody who wants to restrict you. You know, they don't want you to come out of this situation that you're in. So, yeah, there's somebody. And it's this shark. This person wants to keep you down. They want to keep you right where you are. You know, they want to keep the control over you. They don't have respect for others. They're very forceful. You're dealing with a very forceful energy here that is restricting you. And whether it's your own thoughts or it's another person, there could be lack of confidence here, lack of self-esteem, lack of bravery, you know, lack of courage. You need to go within. You need to listen to your gut. You need to follow your own path. King of Wands reversed and Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups is grieving over a loss. King of Wands in reverse is somebody that is very manipulative. You definitely have somebody that is keeping secrets. This person is not your friend. I feel like it's, it's a fire sign type of energy. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this person is impulsive. They um, are they're not on your side. This is this person is not on your side. This is somebody who um, I'm not sure if this person is in the military or who they are, but they uh, they have some sort of I feel like they have a vendetta. I feel like you've got somebody that has a vendetta against you. This person is angry. They are angry. They are upset. They take action probably without thinking. This is recklessness. You know, I feel like there's some sort of uh, grieving here with the Five of Cups in the future. This is coming. This is grieving over a loss. So I'm I'm not sure what is going on here, but I feel like we got we have somebody in your energy that is hiding something. They may be in hiding. They're hiding something. They may have uh, planned something. This is somebody that is revengeful. So I do think that you have a re revengeful person that. I don't know if they're planning on hurting you or something like that, but there is protection here with that star card. Um, the king of wands in reverse is somebody that is not noble. This is somebody that is corrupt, that, that breaks the law, that feels that they are above the law. 
This is somebody that is egotistical. They are unreasonable. They feel as though they are entitled. They do not listen. This is somebody that is unreasonable. And this unreasonable individual is hurting over something. They are grieving. They're, so there is some sort of grieving that is happening with the Five of Cups. There could be a separation of some sort. I mean, I got to be honest with you. This is loss, grief, anger, mourning, deep sorrow, abandonment, you know, regrets. So there, there you could be dealing with some regrets this week, you know, um, or somebody that you're dealing with. You may be dealing with somebody that is very regretful for how they treated you. You know, um, we definitely have an angry individual. This is like a tyrant who is going to be regretful for their actions. Okay, they're going to pay. They're going to pay for their actions. They are. This could be somebody that is in a position of authority that is abusing their power. This person is abusing their power. That's what it looks like to me. Hermit. Now, the hermit is about realizing your true identity, going within, taking a time out to reflect on everything that is happening. So, yeah, I do feel like you will need to take a time out. You may need to heal. You may need to go within. You may need to... Um, Maybe you need to go into hiding. Maybe you need to go into hiding because I keep wanting to say hiding, you know, or somebody's hiding, something about hiding. Maybe you need to go within and go your own path and do your own thing. I think that you have, there's some sort of uh, control issues here. You're dealing with somebody that is extremely controlling and I feel like you need to retreat. I feel like this week you need to retreat. You need to, you need to go within and, you know... Uh, heal. Uh, the Hermit is a card of awakening. It's a card of enlightenment, but you can only do that alone. And I do see needing to be alone. The High Priestess chooses to be alone as well. So you may be choosing to retreat from somebody that has, you know, taken advantage of you. They have abused you or they have, you know, uh, hurt you in some way. Now, that star card is a card of a wish being granted. There's help arriving after a tower falls. You could be connecting with somebody that is very, very spiritual this week. Um, maybe it's a spirit guide. Interesting. I don't think I've ever used that word. But this is a spirit and this is a guide. So I'm not sure if you are. there's some sort of spirit guide around that is guiding you out of a situation. Um, there's definitely a lot of anger here. And I feel like, but I feel like you're protected. I do feel like you're protected. You're going to need time out. Hermit is a card of time out. Time to withdraw from others and reflect. Okay? You need to, you need to completely go within this week. Something is going to happen, you know, that um, causes you the need to go within and reflect. This is reflect and this is reflect. Seriously. Reflect on who you are, you know, reflect on where you want to go, come up with another plan. You know, you're going to have to come up with another plan. Um, it's a time of introspection for sure. And, and, it, and there could be some anger here. You could get angry over something, angry over a loss because the five of cups is a loss. Ah, oh, God. The High Priestess reversed is a horrendous loss of some sort. I'm sorry. Did I say High Priestess reversed? I meant to say Wheel of Fortune reversed. I was looking at the High Priestess when I put it down. But the, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is, is a delay. It's a setback. It's bad luck. Something not working out. It's a fall from grace. It's past mistakes coming back to haunt you. It's a shocking, unpredictable loss. With the Wheel of Fortune reverse. So I'm not sure what is happening. But I feel as though you are... Somebody could be stopped. And they could be stopped from moving forward. Because when you put the when you stop the wheel from spinning, it's a stop. So something may be stopped. Um, it's definitely a setback. I do feel like you are dealing with... I don't know if they... I feel like you have a, a Leo here. It's either a Leo or an Aries or a Sagittarius. This person is a troublemaker. They're trying to stop you from moving forward. They are, and I feel like they're going to cause you some problems this week. Um, 
And I think that you sense it. I think that you sense it coming. And I feel like you're definitely going to need to take a time out um, to grieve whatever this loss is. Because this is grieving. May have something. I don't know if it has something to do with an elder, you know, a father. I don't know. It doesn't have to be. Um, but both of these could be a father or it could be a boss. And I mean, some people are connected to their boss or a leader. You know, there's like somebody that is a leader, you know. Um, anyhow, you are protected. This is a blessing in disguise. So you are, you are protected. It's a blessing in disguise. You, this may make you more spiritual. This could be a spiritual awakening of some sort. You may be going through a spiritual awakening. Um, this loss, lo and everything happens for a reason, both of these cards, it's a blessing in disguise. There is going to be some sort of loss that is absolutely a blessing in disguise. You may not see it that way, but it's the universe's way of protecting you. You need to break free from something that has been controlling you, that... Uh, doesn't really suit you that has been causing you a lot of grief you need to break free from it and because you haven't found the strength to do so you know i do believe that there is some sort of challenge that you are going to be facing that forces you to uh reflect on the decisions or the poor decisions that have been made so this is a week of going within and reflecting and observing and healing from a situation that has brought you backwards. I do apologize, but I'm not going to pretend that it's all pretty. These are very difficult times. You are gaining wisdom through life experience and past mistakes. This is past mistakes coming back to haunt you. It's those past mistakes that build our character. So yeah, I do feel like you're going to be experiencing a setback this week that, you know, there's some sort of secret that has been hidden. I think you have somebody here that doesn't like you. And they may they may uh, express the secret. And it stops something from happening. Good luck.